You, you're Ned Stark's bastard, aren't you? Did I offend you? Sorry. Technically speaking, a bastard is, is just any child born out of wedlock. Lord Edith Stark is my father. And Lady Stark is not your mother, making you the bastard. Medieval societies, including Westeros, tended to be more religious than our modern society, more superstitious in some ways. They knew nothing about genetics or DNA, but they had their own version of it, which is blood. Blood will tell. I'm just a bastard. The bastard of Robert of the House Baratheon. The grand maker of bastards in the Seven Kingdoms is Robert Baratheon. We see about four of them being murdered in the opening episode of season two when uh, Joffrey uh, sends forth his people to uh, find them. The one who gets away from that uh, slaughter of the innocents, of course, is Gendry, who is one of Robert's older bastards. And Gendry looks very much like the young Robert, something that Ned recognizes the minute he lays eyes on Gendry. Find anything? King Robert's bastard, so. Westeros, of course, has a very strong class structure. The small folk, as they're called, they probably produce just as many bastards, if not more, as the noble classes, but they don't have any surnames. And here we have Bronn, son of... You wouldn't know him. The noble houses do have their names, and when they produce bastards, they can't have his father's name, so they give him a bastard name. Very simple declarative names that basically tell you this person has noble blood in them, but they're bastard born. Half Robert, half Lowborn. And it, it differs from region to region. In the north, you have snow. In the Vale of Arran, it's stone. In the Riverlands, it's rivers. In the Westerlands, it's hill. Uh, Iron Islands, it's pike. In the Reach, it's flowers. In the area around King's Landing, the name Waters has been used. In the Stormlands, it's storm. And in Dorne, it's sand. I don't believe you have met Elaria. This is the Lord Hunt, Tywin Lannister, and Cersei Lannister, the Queen Regent. My lady. Can't say I've ever met a sand before. Dorne is a, is a very different culture from the rest of Westeros. It's more hedonistic approach to life. They take, in many ways, a more relaxed approach to life. Bastards are born of passion, aren't they? We don't despise them in Dorne. No, how tolerant of you. Well, the Dornish have different customs. Um, quite a few different customs, one of which is just that bastards aren't looked down upon in the way that they are in the other six kingdoms. People everywhere have their differences. In some places, the highborn frown upon those of low birth. If you're a bastard, you're nothing here. Whereas in Dawn, we have loads of bastards. I'm surrounded by them. They're my, that's my family. I'm one. I have 10,000 brothers and sisters, and I'm not quite sure what to call you. Elaria works for everyone else. Elaria <laughs> Sand might be a bastard, but it's quite permissible for her to be the mother of a prince's babies, and, and no one really thinks twice about this. What do you do with a bastard child? Every house does something different. Some will raise the bastard child as a member of the family, but the, the bastard child has no inheritance rights. A bastard boy with nothing to inherit, off to join the ancient order of the Night's Watch. A lot of bastards do gravitate to the wall. Jon Snow is not the only one up there by any means. Well, you're always welcome on the wall. No bastard was ever refused to see that. Bastards can rise there to officers and command. Some of you bear the names of proud houses. Others only bastard names and no names at all. The wall is a more egalitarian society. Not completely by any means. It still tends to favor the sons of lords and the sons of great houses. Lord Snow here grew up in a castle, spitting down on the likes of you. You have Jon Snow, of course, who is probably the, the most famous bastard in the, in the story. He's right up front, the, the bastard of Winterfell. I think Jon did have a choice to join the Night's Watch or not. He actively chose. He went to the Night's Watch to emulate his Uncle Benjen and eventually, I think, in his head to lead. He wanted to lead them. When Jon first came to Castle Black, he was uh, maybe a little bit spoiled. He was a tough kid and he was a kid who'd never back down from a fight, but at the same time, he grew up in a castle, he grew up with very high-class people, and even if he was a bastard himself, his best friend was Rob Stark, and he was raised by Ned Stark, and he ended up thriving at Castle Black and becoming a leader for the first time. None of that would have come to pass, and none of that would have been the way it was if Jon Snow felt that he belonged in Winterfell. Jon Snow's second-class citizenship and Ramsay Snow's second-class citizenship, I mean, these are major kind of driving forces in the story. Father, welcome home. Walter, this is Ramsay Snow, my bastard. Ramsay Snow is a bastard son of Roose Bolton. 
Ramsey grew up knowing he was a lord's son, but completely disinherited, not part of the castle life, just living with his mother. But when Roose Bolton's son died, he was all that Roose had left. So there's a tremendous amount of anger and resentment. I mean, Ramsey has a, a problematic relationship with his father. I think psychopaths often have problematic relationships with their father. My mother taught me not to throw stones and cripples, but my father taught me to aim for their head. But his main goal in his life would be to be given the acknowledgement and respect of his father uh, that he's been denied as a bastard his entire life. He hates being a bastard. You little bastard. And he wants to be legitimate and he wants to kind of impress his father. That's the only thing I think that he wants more than just inflicting pain on people. The relationship between Roos and Ramsay is in some ways a dark counterpoint to the relation between Ned Stark and Jon Snow. In both cases, a noble father with a bastard son. Jon and Ramsay are literally the opposite to each other. You know, Jon's very noble and honorable and <laughs> and Ramsay is none of those things. Roos himself is a cold and calculating man, a dispassionate man. I place far too much trust in you. But the treatment of the bastard son is, is very different. Ned keeps Jon Snow at Winterfell, and he's, he's raised with Rob and Bran. He's for all practical purposes. He's one of Ned's sons. You are a Stark. You might not have my name, but you have my blood. Ramsay gets nothing from Roos. The flayed man is on our banners. My banners, not yours. You're not a Bolton, you're a Snow. There's also some analogs here to the Tyrion-Tywin relationship. What the hell do you know about being a bastard? All dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes. Let me give you some advice, bastard. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor, and it can never be used to hurt you. 